we have a deodorising and um, de-dusting system, which keeps the dust levels down and the odour levels down. There's um, some primary air ducts at the top of the, the bunker, which um, basically take away um, the, the air and odour from the waste bunker and feed that in as primary air to our incineration unit. So whilst we're operating, we're constantly burning away the smell, so the whole um, waste bunker and tipping hall are kept under what we call a negative pressure environment, so you don't have an odour around the facility because you're effectively always burning it away while you're into the, into the food. Okay. Um, we have uh, infrared cameras looking at any hot spots in the, in the bunker itself because we wouldn't want a, a fire in the, in the bunker, so an audible alarm will sound when the temperature gets to around 50 degrees. And sort of when it gets up to sort of 55 degrees, we've got fire cannons that can operate to, to douse any particular hot spot area okay. so that we don't have a, a fire in this particular area itself. Well, so is it possible to have fire here? Um, like, with the technology we've got and the constant monitoring you've got, it, it, it's, no, it's not really possible. What can burn? Like a it would be sort of the, the um, uh, compaction of, of the waste, sort of compost the waste. You can get hot spots within the waste which can potentially set, okay. set you know, a smouldering effect off within the, uh, within the waste itself. So we're constantly moving the waste around, mixing it, homogenising it so we get a, a decent waste quality to put it into the computer. The, the, the three hoppers. Okay, I understand. Yeah, so they've got, they've got the view here of the three hoppers they're feeding the, the waste into. And also on the left hand side, they can see where the guys are actually put the base into the waste into. So it um, can be fully automated. So I don't mean that the chap sitting here, uh, but we do because we're on the lookout for any items that have got through the transfer station and we will particularly want to come through the units here and the gas bottles are very large and so all things like that. The issue you have is that when that grab picks up, waste is picked up.